Hello and welcome to the Apache Kafka series course, Kafka Cluster Setup and Administration. My name is Stefan Marek and I'll be your instructor for this class. So first, the course introduction. We all know, and you'll figure this out very quickly, that Kafka Cluster Setup is quite hard. To properly set up a Kafka Cluster, you're going to need a lot of things. You're going to need a Zookeeper Cluster, a Kafka Cluster, proper application factor rules, multi availabilities on setup, proper configurations, and there are over 140 possible configurations in Kafka, some administration tools, but thankfully all these concepts will be visited in this course. So I want to show you what the course output will look like when we're done. So here's what we're going to have. We're going to do stuff in Amazon Web Services and don't worry, I'll walk you through how to create an account, etc, etc. So we're going to have three EC2 instances or basically servers and they're going to run Zookeeper and Kafka. So we're going to have three Zookeeper servers and three Kafka brokers all running in different availability zones. Also, we're going to set up some tools such as Zoo Navigator, Kafka Manager, Kafka Topics UI, the Confluent Schema Registry and the Confluent Redux Proxy just on top of our architecture to really have a Kafka setup that you guys can work with and take home. Okay, so a bit of um, introduction to this course, and then I promise in about 10 minutes, the course is getting started with the code. So the course objectives, I want you to understand how the target architecture will look like in obvious in depth. Then we're going to set up Zookeeper, and that will take about two hours because it's really important to set up Zookeeper correctly to have a good CAF cluster, and that's why I spend so much time on it. So we are understand what is Zookeeper, the role for Kafka, the setup, the usage, and maintenance, okay? These two hours will be well spent. And then, I know you're impatient, but after these two hours, we're going to do the Kafka setup deep dive, okay? And we'll understand how to set up Kafka, the role, the configuration, usage, maintenance. We'll understand how to do broker shutdown and recovery, and some production settings, optimizations, Kafka tools, etc., etc., etc. It's going to be amazing. Okay, and obviously you're going to learn some of the common administration tasks using the CLI and Kafka Manager. So I hope you're excited. Just remember, Zookeeper starts first and it's two hours. So this course is complete, but there's a few things that I don't cover because everyone's setup is different. The deployment you want to have in the end is your choice. So this is just a demonstration of one possible setup. And I want you to see this course as a guidance, as like, oh, Stefan has done it in front of my eyes. Now I know how to do it and I can adapt to do it myself the way I want to do it. I'm also not showing you how to run Kafka and Zookeeper in Docker containers. I'm not showing you how to supervise Java processes or to use Chef, Puppet, and Sybil and Kubernetes because I wanted to keep things simple. Finally, automation is yours to create. And if you want Kafka security, I have an entire course that lasts four hours on this topic. You know, so it's a separate one. Finally, whatever you come up with as a final design, I cannot really help you with your Kafka setup, okay? What I can help you is understand what's going on in this course. So prerequisites, this is a challenging course. I want you to know about computers, servers, and networking. I want you to know about Linux and we'll use Ubuntu. And I want you to know about Kafka. You need to see my learning Kafka for beginners course if you don't know what Kafka is at all. Finally, uh, if you want to follow the hands-on, you need to be able to use virtual machines or create a cloud accounts. And if you use a cloud accounts, you need to spend a bit of money. So who are you and who is this course for? This course is going to be for system administrators or architects who want to understand concretely how to set up a Kafka cluster on multiple servers. It's also for developers to understand how the inner depths of Kafka setup work. It's not for developers who just want to read and write from Kafka. For this, again, you can see my Kafka for Beginners course. Finally, just a little bit about me. I'm Stefan, and I'm your instructor for this class. I work as an IT consultant, a solutions architect, and an instructor online. I work with Kafka quite a lot, and I did various full production deployments for various clients, part of the Fortune 100, for example. You can find me on many different channels, and I love people to follow me or connect with me. That can be GitHub, LinkedIn, Medium, or Twitter. Hope you're excited to have me as a teacher. Let's get started and let's build a Kafka cluster together.